All right, one of our subscribers had asked if we could videotape what we do when we drop anchor. So uh, we have a little windy day today, and I'm inside a harbor. And um, I'm gonna find an anchorage, and I'll film it for you guys. Okay, we're gonna look for a nice clearing somewhere out of the swing of all these other moorings. It's about a 15 foot depth or so, 15 to 20 feet, depending on where you go. So uh, I'm just gonna find myself a spot that's clear from these other boats. All right, looks like we got a nice little clearing here. We're gonna set it down right in there. Now I'm coming in with the wind. Typically you'd come into the wind when setting the anchor. So I'm gonna spin it around, make it a little easier. All right, we're spinning around. I have my windlass control right here, up and down. She's all ready to go. I do have a safety chain on it typically, but it's off, so it's ready to drop. It's a self-deploying anchor, so uh, I don't need to get out there to push it off the anchor pulpit there. It'll drop by itself. So once I spin around, I'm going to start dropping that. So I'm just gonna take a look around. Probably gonna lit out a little bit more line. I just wanna make sure that we're not swinging in, into anything. We look pretty good. Just wanna stay away, well away from any mooring buoys. All right, we're in about 26 feet of water and I put out about 90 feet of line. We're not staying here for long duration. Um, you're gonna want a typically a five to one scope so for every 10 feet of depth you figure uh, 50 feet of line um, that will hold you securely in most winds um, we're in a protected harbor here and we're only staying short time so i did a much shorter scope than that just to uh, keep myself tight away from these other boats and mooring buoys all right, now that we're set, I want to set an anchor alarm on my GPS so we know if we're dragging. So I could set the perimeter. I'll set a radius of 150 feet. And here you go, we have the circle. So if we drag outside with this green circle, an alarm will go off. And then we know if we're dragging anchor and we could do something about it before we cause any damage or hit anything. All right, now that we have our anchor set, I'm going to go up on the bow. And it's a little windy up here. hope you can hear me. So you can see we have pretty taut line right here. You don't want to keep all this tension on the windlass. So what I have is a lanyard that I could put on a snubber line that could help take some of the tension off. And I usually hook it up in a variety of different ways, but for now, I'm just going to wrap it around here. You just loop it through itself a couple times. Get yourself a slip knot here, and you can see how that holds it. I can pull it up, and it takes the tension off the windlass. So I'm going to slide this back here. These buttons I could raise and lower the anchor. I'm going to let some more anchor out. And I'm going to tighten it on this cleat right here. Hopefully I got enough, enough space here. I might bring it in a little bit. Okay, now I could let out some of the line and you can see how the line goes slack on the windlass so now I don't have all that tension on the windlass and ruin the clutches and the gears it's being held by this line here 
Um, if I was going to stay long term, I would typically have this snubber all the way out there and then have one of my lines here go down to the snubber and back and it would be sort of like pointed here and uh, so the point of attachment would be further down the line so you take a lot of the tension off of the pulpit and you don't swing as much at night so uh, like an overnight anchor um, I would probably do something like that but uh, the only downfall with doing this is that obviously if something happens and you need to pull your line up quick you have to come out here on the bow and disconnect all of this and that could take some time and if you're if it suddenly started dragging into another boat um, and if it was moving fast enough that could cause some issues so uh, worst case you could cut the line and let it go it's always good to have a knife nearby which I do so there you have it we're securely anchored here in Great Kills Harbor Staten Island New York nice view all around a little windy today but it'd be a nice place to spend the day. All right, if you got any questions, leave them in the comments section. Thanks for watching.